Hi guys, Brad here. Today I'm bringing you a quick tutorial on how to make an ARC sender server. Firstly, you're going to want to go ahead and go to the GitHub, where you can download it from. From there, you're going to want to go to releases and click on the latest release. After you've done that, go ahead and click on the zip file, and this will download. After this is downloaded, you're going to want to open it and extract it to where you would like. So for me, that's just going to be my desktop. Now that you've extracted to your preferred location, you're going to just want to launch the executable file. All of those pop-ups, you don't have to really worry about them, uh, unless it's an error message. All it's telling you is it's created a bunch of files, a bunch of folder paths and everything ready for you to download and update uh, Arc Ascended. So what you're going to want to go ahead and do now is download Steam CMD. This will download and extract for you automatically. After that's downloaded, you're going to have to go ahead and plug quits into that console. And then... Oh. Now all there really is left to do is update and mess around with your settings. So you can change your server name or whatnot. There's plenty of settings to go through here and you have plenty of time to do it while this is downloading. Just a couple of settings to quickly go through. So, enable auto restart. After a certain amount of time, your server will auto automatically restart. So, if I wanted 12 hours, for example, I would set that to 720 minutes. A lot of these features are disabled at the moment because they do not have functionality. Once updates and stuff come out, I usually post them to Discord first. And to, uh, and to GitHub, sorry. If you would like to join any any of these after downloading, go ahead and click on the GitHub or Discord buttons. They will both take you to open pages. I'm going to go ahead and cut forward for when um, this download is finished. There we are. The update is now completed, which means we can now launch our server. However, there is a couple of things I'm going to do, just as an example for you guys. So, if you guys go on over to CurseForge, this is where all of the mods are now located, now that uh, Arc is cross-compatible. So, what you're going to want to do is you're just going to want to find a mod you like, or want, and then you're going to want to take the project ID. Go ahead and copy that. You can paste it into there. If you wanted more than one mod, all you have to do is place a comma, and then the next mod after that. But we're only going to install that one, just as an example. Often what these mods do is um, create little config files. Well, config, well, they'll tell you where you need to put your configs for the uh, mod itself. So for here, it tells us it needs to go into the game user settings anyway. That's what we'll go ahead and do. Let's quickly apply those changes. And open the game user settings anyway. And then we can paste those on on into there. Just make sure you apply those changes. So after that, we'll have a quick look. Quickly enable Archon. 
and then we'll go ahead and start the art server. Alright. So what you can go ahead and do, uh, uh, well, firstly you're going to need to go ahead and port forward. Depending on your route, it can be completely different. So what you're going to want to go and do is search for another tutorial for that. Um, after you've done your port forwarded, you can go ahead and launch Arc, uh, Arc Survival, ascend it, grab your server name, and search for it. Yep, there we go. Just takes a second. Yep, here we go. All mods are there and available. And that, guys, is how you create a Arc Ascended server. In that case, if you guys have any questions, features you'd like added, or anything, make sure you go ahead and join the Discords, give it to GitHub a follow, and uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy. If you want any other Arc, any other like dedicated server tools and stuff, uh, I'm sure I'll be making a few in the future. So make sure you go ahead and join the Discord for when those are released. Cheers.